Verbally abusing your employee for keeping you away from your kid for 10 minutes while also supporting the military bombing children in your home country is a level of privilege that I did not think could be possible, but here we are. How can I trust the button? AKA, how can I secretly break my employees midstream? If Ethan can't control himself, maybe he doesn't deserve a platform. Genuinely, if you still watch H3, you should be shot. Lol. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, H3H3 H3 is facing some pressing allegations of workplace mistreatment, abusing their employees, verbally berating them. Mainly this tweet is how I saw it. It's coming from Yaya the Hun with an Asan Piker profile picture. It seems H3 over the years has made <laughs> quite the rampant anti-fan community amongst Trisha Paytas fans, Hassan fans. But they say, am I shocked? No. Am I disgusted? Yeah. With this two minute clip of people claiming that Ethan is verbally abusing his employee AB over here. So let's see if there's anything to this. I feel like we should have just Welcome. ended the whole thing. We were at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can. Let's end it. You want to tell me about a scam? You mean finish it all up today? That's what I was saying. Yeah, we're close enough. Final words. We got 10 minutes. Do we watch this? Like, I have this new Final clip thing like, I have a are... Discord and people, like, people that join my course, they can use, uh, <laughs> they, they get access to Why? cover oh, most of it. You're doing it. What you're are you it doing? It's so awkward and terrible. I'm sorry, I'm not. Just like, it, it, this is what I'm talking about when it's always like. We need to get home for our kids. It's like, bro. Oh, no, I didn't want to finish it right now. I was just talking about finishing Wednesday. It's on Friday. Maybe. Is it? You guys, like... Alright, I'm taking my hand off the... Alright, should we wrap it up? So this clip is very hard to understand without any context. You probably even thought, like, the video glitched for a second, because on their end, it did glitch. But the context behind this is that H3 bought this button to basically, like, pause the stream, to mute the audio, to put it on, like, a little intermission section, in case he said something that he didn't want to go on to live stream. So it would delay the live stream and then make sure that the thing he just said wouldn't be shown. Or if he wanted to say something to his employee, for example, but didn't want the live audience to see it, he could just hit the button and speak privately to them. But unfortunately in this case, it didn't work out for him and actually made him look 10 times worse than what the context actually is here. What? Ay, ay, ay. What? Okay. All right, should we wrap it up? Let's wrap it up. What? Okay, well, heard all that. thanks, button. All right. <laughs> so the button that was supposed to make him look good actually cut out the context that makes him look better. So it just looks like randomly he's like uh, talking to his employee, talking to AB, saying you're making it f***ing look awkward and terrible without showing the moments that he was critiquing AB for. So to clear it up and for transparency reasons, H3 released the full clip, and this was the full thing for context reasons. You want to tell me about a scam? No words? You mean finish it all up today? That's what I was saying. Yeah, we're close enough. Final words. We got 10 minutes. Do we watch this? Like, so I this was all final words. Thing, like, I have a Discord and people, fuck me. Like, people that join my course, they can use, uh, they, they get access to <laughs> a Discord. Look how, Olivia's the only, look at Olivia, look how sweet she is. Can you switch Wait, to why Olivia is it real quick? Weird? I don't know why. I've just, been, I've been watching him work on it for so, it, it, it's really good. It's, it's, it's okay. really good. Thank you. Bro, it's so sweet. Yeah, you're so this red. Is, this is how the show works. We ran out of time. Yeah. No, I think we covered oh, most of it. You're doing it. What you're are you it doing? It's so awkward and terrible. I'm sorry, I'm not... It's just like, it, this is what I'm talking about when it's always like... We need to get home for our kids. It's like, bro. Oh, no, I didn't want to finish it right now. I was just talking about finishing Wednesday. It's on Friday. Is it, is you guys, it? like... All right, I'm taking my hand off. And the button didn't work. Okay, so it was coming to the end of the amount of time that H3 could spend on the show because he had to get home to his kids. And it sounds like AB and Olivia were trying to passively say to Ethan, like, please, wait, no, I want to cover this thing. Can we keep going? Can we cover this? And Ethan's just like, hey, man, I got to get home. Sorry, that's just the way it is. And AB's just like, oh, okay. And then Ethan just like finds it to be a little bit awkward. He has a behind the scenes conversation saying like, hey man, well, it doesn't have to be this awkward. Like, you know, I gotta get home, dude. Don't make it like a awkward thing out of this. I don't know, who cares? What, what am I supposed to be outraged about? Verbally, throwing around the terms of verbal abuse or even mistreatment at all, I feel like is insane. At most it's a little aggressive, but dude, he's the boss. He's the employee, and AB is the employee. That's how shit runs, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You know, this is the type of stuff that makes you wonder like, dude, do these people have fucking jobs? This is about as tame as it gets, but I feel like people have this unrealistic standard that they try to push onto um, content creators and YouTubers and influencers to like hold themselves to this unrealistic standard where they can't even enforce their boss like uh, responsibilities onto their employees and be able to scold their employees or you know just overall critique them. Like that is literally the position of the job. And I feel like this happens in so many different facets. Like this unrealistic and different standard people hold influencers to. 
that no one else upholds in the real world, and for usually good reasons. But then going back to the other clip, Ethan then realizes that the button <laughs> that the button fucked him over live and glitched on stream, and uh, this was his reaction realizing it. Well, I'll just explain myself then. Like, uh, it's like you know. First of all, I appreciate the hard work. I know you do. And I, I loved it, and I really enjoy it. But it's like every time we do it, we it's like the show is what it is. And I know I was it, it I just, was it makes it. <laughs> I was being selfish. I no, dude, that button f me, dude. That, can you imagine that button f me over like that? Like, dude, I'm, I mean, it could have been worse. What kind of button is this, bro? Who's getting? I, I, you had what's what with the button issues people? earlier? We had technical issues earlier, and it, it screwed some stuff up. I, I was running around in the back trying to fix everything, and uh, I don't know. I, I guess that was still glitched out. It didn't work. And bro, how am I ever gonna trust the button? We need a button redundancy. <laughs> we need a button for the button. Ugh. Apologies. This is what people are so outraged over. They even have like a realistic like com communication back and forth right after if Ethan's saying, hey man, I appreciate your work, um, but at the same time, like, yeah, I, I don't know. It just made it a little bit awkward and the button f me over now too. This whole situation is like fucked. Like they have open communication afterwards. AB's like, hey man, yeah, sorry. I was being a little bit selfish and being a little bit too pushy or whatever. Like, I, I don't, who cares? Who fucking cares? There just must be this huge H3 like anti-fan community to like eat him alive. This tweet even shows that whole concept context of them talking afterwards, and it still calls it disgusting behavior and has 14,000 likes. Look at these replies, too. I try with H3. I was a huge fan for years, but this pod has just been <laughs> the most catastrophic ass vibes ever. Like, the past year or so has just been them bickering all day. Honestly, ever since the end of Leftovers and the whole Israel-Palestine debate with Hassan, it amazes me how this guy still is an audience. Okay, so that's where the real, that's where the real problems come from. That's where, I guess, like, a lot of the animosity comes from these people. They're still hung up on that Hassan stuff from leftovers so unhinged not to mention ab is lebanese i believe <laughs> wait what the f does ab's race have to do with any of this dude <laughs> you could always count on Hassan fans to inject race into every discourse I, what is, well, I don't even know what this is supposed to mean yeah and i think he grew up muslim just like me but what is happening no surprise ethan klein is an asshole to his employees how can i trust the button aka how can i secretly berate my employees midstream dude if this is berating your employees then i, I don't even know to tell these people. This is as tame as it gets, dude. You're gonna have a mental fucking breakdown and schizoid episode if you work at like the average job. I don't even go to McDonald's, you know what I mean, and have a manager like tell you that you flipped the burgers wrong and cooked one side a little bit too like much. Dude, you're gonna fucking like cry. If Ethan can't control himself, maybe he doesn't deserve a platform, dude. And the Reddit posts about this are even more unhinged. So the, there's this big post on this H3 Snark subreddit, which just sounds like it's literally an anti fan subreddit. Um, 3,000 upvotes. And then the bottom comment is to bring up all the other examples of when the button was used and also different examples of how Ethan has abused his employees. Also notes, Ethan recently talked about how he has tension with his now ex-employee Sam Temple. She quit two months ago. Okay. Who cares? <laughs> don't don't you think we need more context for this? Are we just throwing anything against the wall? Another employee, Cam Grants, quit earlier this year. <laughs> Is, are we just marking down every time somebody quits from the H3 program to like put a, a mark against them? Another employee, Ian Slater, is on a month long hiatus and fans speculate he won't be returning. Amazing, dude. A current employee, Olivia, had her intelligence insulted behind Ethan's paywall stream for retweeting in support of Palestine last October. Olivia, there's Olivia hate. How can any Anybody hate Olivia? No, actually, they're supporting her. Okay. But I actually need to say that this is not a good post to like. From the river to the sea, literally, is saying that we, we need all, all of Israel must be ours. See, I think that's part of the problem is that people don't necessarily understand what some of this stuff means. Yeah. Like that's Olivia true. probably doesn't even know what from the river to the sea reference means. Probably. No, I mean, no. And. I see that a lot, but pe people who don't know what it means, who cares? If anything, this is like an indictment to show that Ethan really doesn't have that much dirty laundry. Former employee Chantel, current employee Zach Lewis's girlfriend, posted, my best skincare tip is quitting your toxic job after quitting Teddy Fresh last year. Oh boy. Ethan once said he watched Gila crack the whip on a new hire at Teddy Fresh so badly it scared the fuck out of him. Everyone knows not to cross her. How old clips are we bringing up here now? We're bringing up uh, several years old clips. This has been a week of typos. I've been pointing out lots of typos to people. And Whoa. I'm like, Someone well, here? not here. It's oh, Teddy, Teddy Fresh. Fresh yeah. Either cracks the whip over there, man. It's but I find it funny because like, I'm not even from here. Hila once called her employees peasants at a photo shoot. Yeah, that's a classroom. I know this is 
steamers and the lights, it's gonna be... And the peasants are here. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the first time Ethan has been rude to his employee, AB, behind his button. Ugh, I don't like doing that anymore. Wait. Thank you, AB, for the contribution. <laughs> no, you didn't say anything wrong. <laughs> what? <laughs> Making it seem People like I so said sensitive that I, they go, oh, well, he's being mean. So I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that shit anymore. Ethan and Gila mocked and dogpiled on AB's tattoos not even two weeks ago. Well, now every time he pushes the button, I'm going to think he's berating one of his employees. I mean, I don't know. I feel like this is the biggest self-report in the world. If you like, just have never had a job in your life before, that uh, you feel like this is berating one of your employees. And again, yeah, just goes to show this unrealistic standard people hold these content creators to, which is absurd. And what I could tell from a lot of these comments too, people bringing up his uh, Gila being in the IDF, there already is just hatred towards um ethan for his israel palestine takes so that's basically like all what it comes down to these days with a lot of the h3 hates and believe me i'm no h3 fan not at all but this situation is absurd and a complete nothing nothing burger i think they call it i guess we just talk about the button thing here's what i'm gonna say about the button thing at the end of the content court yesterday there was a moment where i made an aside to ab and I was angry and uh, the button didn't work and everybody saw the interaction. I'm embarrassed that you guys saw it. However, I do believe that this is a private uh, professional situation that was never meant to be public and I will continue to handle it in such a way, in, in the same fashion. I will, we will continue to uh, work on this uh, situation behind the scenes as professionals, as coworkers and I mean, that's really all I got. Yeah, I, I was, my point was just that, like, I didn't want to make it awkward, but we had to leave, you know what I mean? And um, whatever, that's a thing that me and AB will talk about privately and we'll work on together as professionals. I'll say, you know... People it, saying it's still bad. Who who are these people? Do you have jobs? Like, no, what, what are you talking so. about? But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out today. That's the, that's the Daily Slop video. Thank you for coming out. Subscribe for more. Like for more. We're raising the Rick stocks. That is the Ethan Klein situation. Basically just like completely making a mountain out of a molehill because there's a lot of H3 hates. Thank you guys for coming out. Streams will be coming back very soon. I'm going to be moving into my new place. Uh, this is just like a little intermediate thing, but I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.